Have you ever noticed that you're starting to hear a somewhat crackling sound from your vape? Don't worry, in this short video I'll tell you why this is happening and if it's something to be concerned about. So when you're new to vaping it can come as a surprise if your e-cig starts to make some peculiar noises. These range from crackling or popping to even a whooshing sound. Now all of them are completely normal and you get used to them really quickly. However, it is good to get into the habit of understanding what sounds are normal for your vape. This way, if they change, you can easily identify if and where there is a problem. So let's take a look at the noises you might hear from your vape, why they can happen and how you can recognize a good or a bad noise. So first let's start on the crackling or popping you hear from your e-cig. Now these noises are completely normal and are caused by your vape coil. Now you have to remember that you're dealing with an electrical device that is doing several things at once as you vape. As you draw on your e-cig, e-liquid is pulled into your atomizer head. The atomizer head has a coil inside it that heats up as you press your button. This coil then vaporizes your e-liquid into a vapor that you can inhale. As the e-liquid is vaporized, it makes a slight popping or crackling sound. This will be slightly more noticeable if your atomizer head is brand new. Now if you hear your vape crackle, it actually means that it's performing well and your coil is doing what it needs to. Now the type of e-liquid your vape can also alter the sound your e-cig makes as you vape it. The ratio of the diluents in your e-liquid determines how thick or thin your e-liquid is. If you have more of the diluent propylene glycol, or PG, then your liquid will have a thinner consistency. A higher concentration of vegetable glycerin, or VG, in your e-liquid, and it will be thicker. A thinner e-liquid means the noise from your atomizer head might be slightly more noticeable, as there isn't the thickness there to dampen the sound. Now, even with a thicker e-liquid, your atomizer head is still doing the same job and making the same sounds. It's just buffered from your e-liquid. Now another impact on the noise from your e-cig could be the power output. The more power your e-cig is outputting, the louder it will be. A sub ohm vape with the power turned up will pop and crackle and it will be nearly instantaneous as the coil heats up hotter, much quicker than with a higher resistance coil. However, this noise won't last as long with sub ohm vape as it produces much more vapour, meaning you tend to draw for a shorter period of time. Now whilst the crackling sound may not be anything to worry about, if you notice a gurgling or spitting noise, you may need to adjust your settings. If you have an adjustable power vape and the wattage is too low, excess fluid can gather in your atomizer head. It isn't being vaporized quickly enough and will flood your coil, causing a gurgling noise or spitting. So try turning your power up slightly to see if this helps. So now that we know why your e-cig makes these noises, let's look into how different atomizer heads can affect the noises. A atomizer head can have different styles of coil inside. If the coil is mesh or has multiple coils, then there's more surface area to vaporize the e-liquid. This means that you get more flavor and vapor from your e-liquid, but it will also sound louder as you're vaping. Again, this sound is more noticeable when your atomizer head is brand new. So once your coil is bedded in, within a day or two of use, the noise will be much less noticeable. So now we've spoken about the popping and crackling noises, let's see what causes the whoosh sound you sometimes hear when vaping. Now this is caused by the airflow. As you draw on your e-cig, you're pulling air into it. This air runs across the coil to move the vapor from your vape tank to you. This is when you might hear a light whoosh. With most standard e-cigs, you won't hear much of this, but if you have a sub ohm kit with wide airflow, then it might be more noticeable. At Totally Wicked, we break our tanks up into groups. These are categorized depending on the amount of vapor they produce, regular, high, or ultra. To get more vapor from your e-cig, you need more airflow. So a vape tank from the high or ultra category will have adjustable airflow which opens much wider than a tank in the regular category. With all tanks, the airflow can be closed right down, but a tank in the regular category will have a much more restricted airflow, therefore less of a whoosh sound. So now you know why your e-cig might make slight noises, which is great, because now you'll be able to recognize when one of these changes. Once you know what is normal for your e-cig, you can tell if one of these sounds change. As an example, if you're used to a slight crackle when vaping, and this changes to more of a gurgle, you will notice it, and then you can do something about it. If that happens, it means there's too much e-liquid in your atomizer head, so it might need unflooded. So while the crackling and popping noises your E6 makes is normal, if you want to make it quieter, here's a few tips. Now the first is to take shorter draws. The longer you draw, the more air is pulled through your vape, and the more noticeable the sound of vaping is. If you draw for a very long time on each draw, try and shorten the length of this. This will make the noise a little less noticeable. You could also change your coil resistance. If you have a very low resistance coil, then try a higher resistance. This will make the popping and crackling sound much less noticeable. The third tip is to lower your power. Try turning down your wattage slightly to put less power through your coil. 
And finally, you could try closing your airflow. If you have an airflow wide open, try closing this off slightly to reduce the amount of air being pulled through your vape tank. So this was a look at the reasons why you might have heard your vape crackle. It's a completely normal part of vaping and something that we get used to. But if you have any other tips about vape noises, drop us a comment below.